Hello guys and welcome to the complete Android developer course. In this tutorial we are going to continue with widgets and learn about buttons. So what are buttons and how to use them in a real Android app. In this video we are going to create a, an, uh, an application that uses and uh, deals with buttons. If you are new to our channel please hit subscribe below to get new tutorials and coding tutorials every day and if you are a new uh, if you are in the, the channel please hit like and welcome again so let's start all apps contain buttons that allow the user to interact and click them to execute specific code so buttons represent a push button a push button can be clicked or pressed by the user to perform an action there are different types of buttons used in Android studio such as compound buttons toggle buttons and radio buttons on the button we are we can specify uh, we can perform different actions or events like click uh, event press event touch event and etc when the user taps or clicks on the button in Android the app the app can respond to the click or tap. These buttons can be divided into two categories. The first is buttons with text on it, like this image. And the second is buttons with an image on it that is called image button. So, in order to create a button in Android Studio, we, we are going to uh, with two steps. First of all, uh, drag and drop a button a widget to your layout and add the following code so this is the code of the button in an XML code second step instantiate the button in Java class button equal button equal find view by ID r dot ID dot button we are creating an object like we have seen before that creating objects in Java means creating or instantiating a class, the big class, and object, and we find a view by ID the name of or ID of the button. So this is the Java code. Again, I would uh, remember you that these lessons are available to download, and uh, many other uh, tutorials we are going to make. Uh, on on the go every day uh, so keep uh, watching keep subscribing and uh, li uh, like comment below what what you think about our tutorials and our course if you have recommendations please list it below say thanks for us to, to push us uh, forward and make daily and continue making and uploading every day uh, video tutorials and coding tutorials these lessons are available to download in Master Android app and Master Android Pro app available on Play Store. So go to Play Store and search for uh, Master Android and download it. Don't miss to rate us five stars because you will love it. So again, click events. You are wondering how to add click events on the, onto this button, right? To handle the user click on the on this button, we need to add click listeners. So the following code will trigger some code when the user click the button. So again, again, the button, the button class, we are instantiating an object from it, and we find it by using find a view by id r dot id dot button. This button is the name of or ID used in the layout. Now, button dot set in click listener. This is the code or the way we are going to add a click event or handing, handling click events for the the button. So, button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener uh, method, and we have to add on click. Put here the code to be executed when the user click the button. So, is, this is the, uh, uh, the lecture about it. If you look again on the code, we see that we have created an object from the button 
and we use set on click listener. So inside the method called on click, we can put the code that we need to be executed when the user click the button. Attributes, there are many common attributes for the, the button and uh, with the uh, other Android widgets. So you can set the color, background, gravity, height, width, text, and many other attributes in the same way we learned before. Be honest, we spent many a days working these tutorials, apps, and videos. Just say thanks on the video, subscribe, and rate us five stars to our app. Thank you guys. Let's move to Android. Hello guys. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about buttons in Android Studio. So button, you drag from the panel, the button, and put it inside the constraint layout. So we see in the previous video how to create the, uh, the text views and uh, in this tutorial, I will create this uh, button uh, below the text. So these are the constraints of the button. So I will uh, remove this by clicking the control, control plus right click and I will center the button below the text view. So button in, uh, in, in Android is specified also like text views and have, as I said before, they are widgets. So widgets have also an ID. So I will consider the ID of this button as button. And also the declared attributes for this uh, widget, for this button is the same and 90% they are the same as uh, text views. So in this tutorial, I uh, we will uh, concentrate on using the onClick uh, method or uh, onClick uh, attribute for uh, the buttons. So we are going to use the onClick method and uh, we will see later how to configure uh, the, uh, the onClick method programmatically and with attributes XML so when whenever you are dealing with UI you are dealing with XML so here we put the uh, on click the method we are going uh, to use and uh, to execute now the background we can also format the background and change it and uh, for the background of the image we uh, we can specify it here we can edit it and thanks for android studio for for uh, the the large number of uh, of colors we provide and uh, the co full control of the transparency and the colors editing now the text you see that the text uh, there is a text inside the button so you can edit it inside the common attributes and uh, uh, under the section called text i will uh, put it click me now i pick a source alpha and here are all the attributes you can also configure them and uh, see what happens to uh, each attribute but Till now, we will concentrate on the most used uh, and the most important things we are using. This is a text view size inside the, uh, the button. You see that the text is enlarged. Now I will go to onClick. OnClick method, this, this uh, attribute uh, will, will execute uh, method so what are methods we are going to use uh, to see them later uh, in this video now I will specify here that on click there is a method would be called so the method the method is a code a bunch of codes that will be executed when it's called so when the user click this math at this uh, button, there is a code of a block of codes will be executed. 
So uh, like uh, downloading image, downloading in background, like playing music, and we'll see later how they will work. Now let's configure them. As I said be, uh, before, we are going to create a method. So using, we're creating the method, we, we need to put private void. We will see in the Java course, next course, or next uh, section, about Java, how the methods are working and how the functions work. So, uh, creating new method functions to be executed when the user click uh, the, the button. I will name it as the button is clicked. So this method, this method will be executed remember it, it is executed when the user will click the button so when the user is clicking the button i uh, it, the code will be executed i need first to import the view the view package as uh, as you are seeing here and we uh, we learned previously previously how to import packages so using the this method this way this first method how to create the click uh, event for the button like using and using XML. I will show you in this video the next or the second method how to create a handling or handle the click events for the button in a second way. So first first way or first first method is creating uh, using a view or using XML. Now we will display a message in the log console. We also learn how to create uh, or how to use logcat later on. Till now, it is very simple. Just follow the, the steps that I am going and uh, making. We will see later in this course about logcat, log, uh, log v, log verbosing, and everything about log lessons. Now let's go to, to create the log. I type log dot I or V, V represent the verbose. And also I import the package of the log. Here is the tag. So every message has it, its own tag. Now when searching for, uh, for, the, uh, for the message, if it is uh, displayed, I search for the tag. So. I will show you, don't be confused. Now let's uh, run our app. This is, this is uh, our app and its UI is very good. Now this is the text, I copy it. I open the logcat from below and search for button uh, verb and using verbose. But remember, I'm, I did not link I did not link the the method with the button because because it is making it as private so make it as public and the method is very good so now it is very it's linked correctly now I will click it Okay, so you see in the logcat below console, logcat console, the button is clicked. Whenever I click, there is a message telling me that the button is clicked. This is very important. So you are, when developing a big app later on, it's very good a way to use logcat. Now I will show you how to add a button click programmatically. So. Now we need to remove or click from XML. We are not dealing with XML and I prefer dealing with Java. So first of all, like we, we make with text view, I declare or instantiate the text view. I also instantiate the button. So uh, first make an instance uh, or object for, uh, from button and build in on create method 
declare and initialize the widgets here under initializing text widget, widgets remember the source codes are available for the for every lesson now declaring and instantiating or initializing the button widgets so we start by button like we declared uh, above button equal find view by id r dot id dot the id of the button that is initialized in the main activity so this button has an id named button with small letters now in order to add a click event for the button we are uh, we are uh, going to use the click listeners so what are the click listeners click listeners think of click listeners like uh, a person who are waiting you to click uh, uh, to click uh, the button to execute or uh, to execute to execute something so button set on click listener it is waiting the user this listener will wait the user to click the button to execute the code so what is the code to be executed here an on click method we put here the code to be executed whenever the user click the button you can also download master android app master android pro and master flutter from uh, these are our apps uh, and see more about and learn more about uh, clicking methods and uh, click listeners and buttons uh, we are helping more than uh, about uh, 800,000 users to learn Android from beginning and some people and some users has a successful apps on Play Store so go and don't hesitate so now we need to execute the method we created before so the method is making a message in the console in the log console now we need on whenever the user click the button the button is called is clicked method will be executed don't be confused we create the method we create a method alone this method will be executed whenever the button is clicked now let's try click me it's working properly properly now very good amazing i prefer using this method uh, in all in all uh, apps thank you guys see you next videos